shameful i say absolutely shameful backyard farmer pat <sighs> guys it's that time of year again holidays are around the corner let's start doing some cleaning up i already started on my island it's looking decent but all throughout my garden guys <laughs> some of the weeds are actually taller than me so today's video we're gonna do some cleaning up together for the holidays look at that that's my pineapple patch do you see any pineapples nope all i see is spanish needle that are my height time to clean up guys let's get started i'm not excited all right so after hurricane helene came by and came through and did her damage um i went the, the ground was really soft so i i cleaned up my island guys i couldn't even see any of my plants um the spanish needle were like four feet high i literally hand pulled all this so this island is cleaned up so that kind of gave me the encouragement to come through and try and start cleaning up the rest of the garden look at all those bananas guys three bunches of bananas on the island um anyway oh, let me start somewhere easy today i'm dealing with spanish needle i'm dealing with virginia creeper which you know that can cause all allergic reactions i'm dealing with a lot i'm dealing with a ton of um what do you call it cersei or or bitter melon which yes it's medicinal so so is the spanish needle but it's just it's just too much way more than i can ever use anyway let's start off let's start at this section i'm gonna set my camera up and we're gonna go 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 So here is initial cleanup and I can go in and fine tune it and uh, maybe put on some cardboard and mulch. As you can see, there was cardboard here, but my weeds don't play. Those weeds actually landed on the cardboard and just continued growing. All right, so let's, let's keep on moving. Let's speed this up a bit.
made a good dent on those pineapples. Still need to clean up behind the mango and the um, mulberry tree. You can see mulberry is covered with cerise. Um, I haven't gotten to this side yet, but all of these mountains of weeds are weeds that I got from the island. So let me show you what I've done so far, guys. I have mountains and mountains of weeds that I pulled by hand. Let's back up so you can see how, just how big these mountains are. Woo! But my garden is coming back. You can actually see my plants. Look at that. Mountains and mountains of weeds. But it's all good. It's all good. Everything is coming together. Look. You can actually see ground. You can actually see the plants. Yeah, it got like this because it was just so brutally hot this summer, guys. I just couldn't do it. I do have a lot of Mexican sunflower. That's what you see back there that I plan on chopping up and doing chop and drop. And my soil is definitely way richer than it was when I moved here. I mean, there are tons of earthworms as I, uh, as I pulled up weeds. All right, guys, so this was done in an afternoon. You can see all the weeds from this angle. So guys, you can do it. I know sometimes it's just overwhelming. I was overwhelmed, I can tell you. But just do a little bit at a time. This is my second day out and I've gotten a good chunk of the garden. The weediest parts of my garden done. The other areas aren't as weedy, so it shouldn't be as bad. Anyway guys, this is just a video showing you the good, the bad and the ugly. This was the ugly today, but it's on its way to being beautiful for the holidays. Anyway guys, till next time. Bye now.